Jeff Koga here and uh, decided to uh, do this quick live stream and uh, talk about how to get uh, the most value out of a conference okay now typically when I go to a conference right it falls under two categories number one am I going there to network okay or two am I going there to gain some type of competitive advantage in the marketplace okay and then under that there's a third kind of category which is to hey hang out with friends which is part of kind of quasi networking right so so one of the ones favorite ones I go to and I absolutely lo love going to is kind of those internet conferences right especially the big internet conferences why is because a lot of my friends are in the internet marketing space even though there are in the quote real estate space right and and it's cool when you go out there because typically some of my friends we all come together and we get like a little sweet or something like that and usually it break, breaks down to two things right we pick and choose the people that we want to uh, obviously see as a keynote speaker and then from there the rest of the other time the other speakers right we don't even stay at the whole event we just go to the hotel room and we literally just mastermind we sit there for a couple hours talk about our businesses how has it been going what's been happening and then we just down kind of action plans on things that we can do and that's kind of the game plan that we do when we go to these big conferences right so 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 if you have friends like that highly recommend for you to do that okay do get into that kind of the mastermind group right and kind of share ideas share stuff what's working what's not working and then get feedback from your colleagues to see how you can grow your business now let's just say you don't have that type of network Okay, which might be possible if you're watching this, is to create an environment that people can go ahead and you know reach out to you. So here's what I mean by this, and I've been doing that strategy for like four years or so. So so what I do is typically when I'm at a conference, right? What most people do is get their hotel room or get their ticket. They've booked their flight and they get their hotel room and they show up and they wait for the event. Okay, and then from there, you know, if they're smart, maybe they'll have a business card. I don't carry business cards, um, but they'll go around and try to network, shake hands, and stuff like that. Okay, now, can you do that? 100%. Will that work? 100%. But as the internet started coming up, right, and as I started understanding about online advertisement and stuff like that, I stopped doing that especially even like carrying business cards, okay? Um, so instead, what I do is I literally, before I take off, okay, I pick and choose in my mind, this is being highly strategic, okay, is to create content or something that will make you stick out, okay? Meaning that you want to do something where you can literally draw a line in the sand where you know that you're for something or against something in your industry. And then when you have that, then you take that video and then you run it in the location where a select few individuals are, like influencers in the marketplace, okay? And then you run that advertisement where you think that they're going to be. Okay, meaning like their work address and their home address. It's really easy to do. Okay, now why do you do that? Is because you're hopefully, if you spend some money there, okay, as they're flipping through Facebook or they're flipping through Instagram or they're watching a YouTube video, right, your ad will pop up. And because the fact that your ad will pop up, they'll recognize your face, they'll recognize your voice, that kind of stuff, okay? So, so before I came to this event, I purposefully ran video ads in location of uh, uh, a place where people that I wanted to network with, people that I wanted to shake their hands. So literally, I ran video ads at their office where I thought that they're going to be, as well as I ran the ad on their home location. Because now, with geo-targeting, you can go on one mile radius, Okay, and then what you do is then you put an interest overlay on top of that of like the industry you're part of or what you think that they like, and then you run the ad. Now, it's not in a sense of impressions, in a sense of reach, okay? It is going to be expensive. Why? It's because it's a one mile radius, right? But it is the best money spent because you're going to be at the place, right? So a lot of times people, if they go to an event, they buy a ticket like I said, buy a flight, get a hotel room, and then after that, they don't put any dollars behind marketing uh, to get their name out. Versus like in my case, I've been doing this for like, like I said, four plus years on this, is that you purposefully run advertisement in those locations of people that you wanna build relationships with. And then when you're at the actual location, readjust the actual address to that location, to a one mile radius, so that way your video ad is continuously running over and over uh, throughout the event, and you make a message on there basically say hey if you see me make sure you say hi 
okay? So I would do some weird stuff, like originally before like video was huge, right? I would just do like kind of a picture and I would have a picture with a sign that I'm holding like this and I'll say, are you at? And I'll put the actual name of the event on there. Make sure you say hi and I would run that, okay? And then and in the copy or status, I'll say, hey, make sure if you see me, give me a high five. And then as I'm walking through the conference, people will be like, high five, Jeff, Jeff I saw your ad, you know? And, and you get to like uh, break the ice and have conversations that way, right? So highly recommend individuals to do it. You know, you might think like, wow, you know, do I got, how much do I got to drop? Well, it depends on your budget, right? But at the end of the day, when I go to a conference, I purposefully with this type of campaign, I will do anywhere from 200 to 250 bucks, at least on that to just to drive awareness. And then simultaneously, what I'm going to do currently right now, I should have done this last night. I totally forgot about it is I'm going to readjust uh, my internet bots, right? This one, in this case, um, it's Instagress. Instagress has now officially been shut down. So I may use InstaRanker, but I'm going to use that application. So anyone who posts a picture on Instagram with the geo tag of this location, Pacific Palms, and or use the hashtag for the event, the bot is going to go out and literally like leave comments and like their pictures and stuff like that, right? So it's kind of like boom, boom, boom in your face. Now, why do I do that is because again, is the sole purpose, the most bang for the buck you're going to get at any event is not from the speakers. Yes, you can, depending on if it's a high level mastermind group or something like that. But if it's a big conference where typically if it's like 500 plus people or something like that, the, the biggest bang for your buck is networking. It is never, never, ever just watching keynote speakers. You might pick like one or two golden nuggets from that, but that's, that's what it is. And you have to go to a conference with this mindset. Otherwise, you're just going to be like, oh yeah, and get information overload. And depending on what it is, uh, sometimes I'll I'll even leave early honestly like if I'm there to like fit learn like one or two things and if I get one or two uh, golden nuggets right I've done this in the past is that I'll say okay shit and then I take my stuff and I just like literally leave now why do I do that is because I don't want more ideas because if I get way too much ideas it's all about execution and I won't be able to execute so so I've done this several times when I go to these conferences from the real estate investing conferences you know lead generation online generation uh, investing you know how to raise money you know all these different type of conferences and I'll go there and yes, I'll try to network as much as possible in the early a.m., right, especially where people are waiting out in the front, try to shake a lot of hands, right, say a lot of hi, try to meet, meet and greet, right, connect with people, okay? But then afterwards, guess what? If I get a golden idea, I would literally leave. Yeah, I would leave and then I'll get my master plan together to see how I'm going to go out and go execute that, right? So again, there's only two ways to do that, right? Networking or get those uh, one or two ideas that's going to help your business grow. And that's it. And other than that, you know, there's, what do you want to do, man? Hang out and just get drunk with people? I don't drink. So it doesn't do me anything, you know? So that's what I got. A little quick tip for you. So hope you got value out of this. Um, Jeff Koga, I'm signing out.